The National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences is rapidly becoming a regional leader in cryoelectron microscopy, a Nobel Prize winning technology. My name is Mario Borgna. I am the director of the cryoelectron microscopy facility here at NIHS. We use electron microscopes to image complex biological molecules and combine the pictures to construct a three-dimensional map. This technology allows structural biologists to study large protein complexes. For example, we can visualize proteins at the surface of viruses like HIV or protein switches involved in sensation. This information can be used to design better vaccines and painkillers. We are teaming up with Duke and UNC to establish the Molecular Microscopy Consortium, a collaborative training environment. We aim to advance the field of structural biology by helping local scientists incorporate this powerful tool in their laboratories. Before they can be observed in an electron microscope, macromolecular complexes need to be applied to a small metallic disk called an EM grid. A robot that preserves humidity and temperature is used to remove excess liquid, leaving a very thin layer of solution by blotting the EM grid with paper. The EM grid is then plunged into a cryogen that is cooled with liquid nitrogen. This ultra-fast cooling creates a special type of glassy ice that is transparent to electrons. Freezing the samples prevents their evaporation in the vacuum of the electron microscope. Ultra-low temperatures also protect the complexes from damaging interactions with the electrons used to image them. The following procedures are done in liquid nitrogen while carefully preventing contamination from atmospheric water. The EM grid is placed into a cartridge that facilitates robotic handling of the specimen inside the microscope. Several cartridges are then loaded into a special cassette. Up to 12 grids can be loaded at a time. The cassette is inserted into a cryogenic container that is used to shuttle it into the microscope autoloader. The autoloader and the microscope stage are robotically controlled by the microscope computer. Once the appropriate sample is identified, the microscope can automatically collect thousands of images over the course of several hours to days. Powerful computers are used to automatically combine molecular images and calculate an electron density map of the complex of interest. Before we opened the first cryo-EM facility in the Carolinas, local researchers had to make several trips out of the state to image their proteins. Direct access to this sophisticated technology allows them to acquire beautifully detailed molecular images, increases our competitiveness, and attracts talented young scientists and industry to the region. Cryo-EM may turn out to be one of the best investments NIEHS has made. The potential of cryo-electron microscopy is becoming more evident every day, with three of the scientists who developed the technology sharing the 2017 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. If you are a researcher in North Carolina and neighboring states who is interested in learning how to solve the structure of your macromolecule with this method, I invite you to contact me using the information at the bottom of the screen.